Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. Thrifting is my second favorite hobby, of course, after crafting. Looking for treasures and bargains always makes me very excited. So for today's video, I've prepared three DIY thrift flips. I will be creating new and fresh looking at the cool pieces out of the items which I found in thrift stores. Sometimes you are not able to find unique and in good condition item, but that's a good opportunity for you to think if this item can be upcycled somehow. Sometimes you can completely change the purpose of it or sometimes just give it a small makeover, making it looking like brand new and super trendy. So without any further ado, let me show you what I came up with this time. I had this tool with me for a few months already. I like its shape, color and overall it's in a really good condition. I was using it just the way it is but I've decided that it's time to give it a new look. So I found this full a fur cushion cover. It measures 43 times 43 centimeters, which makes perfect fit for this tool. I've washed it so it's nice and white, but it will need a brush later on. My plan is to cover the top part of the stool with this fabric. And to do it, I start with opening this cushion up. I cut the zip and then easily tear the material. I will need only one part of this cover. I place it upside down flat on the floor and put my stool on the top of it. So I'm not going to staple this fabric to the stool. First of all, I don't want to damage the wood and second, this fabric will need to be washed from time to time. So I've thought of easier solution. At first, I'm cutting out the circle shape out, which edge is about 8 cm away from the stool. And then using sharp scissors, I cut this shape out. I take the comb and brush it all off, giving this fur brand new look. To make easily removable cover, I will use an elastic band which I attach to the edge of my fur circle. I take hot glue gun and place the glue on the edge. Then I fold it in so there is enough room for the elastic and hold for a few seconds, making sure the glue cured. And I do it all the way around. I take elastic strap, place the safety pin at the end of it and start pushing it through the tunnel I've created. It was quite tricky as the fur fabric is quite thick and sometimes it was hard to actually feel the safety pin. But by making small moves, I was able to pull it all the way around. I've also attached the other end of strap to the fabric so it stays secured when I pull it on the other side. I place my new cover on top of the stool and pull both ends of the elastic. To make it more cushiony and comfortable, I've started with some pillow filler. I spread it evenly for better finish. I've pulled the elastic even more, so now it wraps nicely the top of the stool. I make a few knots to secure. You can cut the spare strap. I push it inside the cover so when I want to put it to the washing machine I can easily undo the knots. I'm happy how it turned out. Small change but it gave this to a completely new modern look.
This project is super easy and the idea of it is to show you that sometimes you can combine two completely different items to achieve new piece of decor. I have this wooden bowl which cost me only 50p and these three wooden rings which I think they are napkins ring. I've just noticed the sticker with letter A. I think it's a sign. So my idea is to attach these rings at the bottom of the bowl. The purpose of the bowl will stay the same, but it will get new and more trendy look with these small pillars. And to attach them, I will be using super glue. I put it around the edge and then glue it to the bottom of the bowl. Once the glue cured, I can start painting it. I could leave it just the way it is, but the shade of the woods are slightly different, plus the rings are scratched a little bit. I'm going with beige acrylic paint, which I mix with baking soda for more rough finish and stony look. I should really spray paint it first, but instead I will just make more layers of this paint. I leave the inside of the bowl the way it is and just paint the outside. Quick and easy update to this bowl. Sometimes when you look at one item you don't know what to do with it, but combining it with another item gives it a new and a fresh look. I bought this lamp for £2. The base is in pretty good condition, but the shade seen better times. First I've hovered it all uh, as it was very dusty. I want to change the look of both of the parts, so I take them apart. With the lampshade, I give it a good clean with damp cloth. As I had some leftover paint from my previous projects, I've decided to use some of it to paint the shade. To apply it, I use the sponge, which doesn't leave as many lines as the brush does. And I only paint the fabric part of the outside of the shade. When the shade is drying, I can start working on the base. Again, I start with giving a good clean and then dry it with tissue. I'm going to cover this base with filler and to make it more stickable to the ceramic, I tape it with joining tape. I don't have to cover the whole surface, but I try to stick it to as many places as I can. I make sure the tape sticks well and flat to the base. One of you in one of my previous videos recommended to put some water to the filler. So this time I did it and the consistency was much better to work with. Using small puffy knife, I start applying the filler onto the lamp base. All I want to do is give this lamp more organic look and not perfect texture. I make quite thin layer just to cover the tape. I also use my fingers and sponge to create rougher texture and the finish. Lampshade is dry and already looks much better. But this painting was only as the background for the rest of my design. I want to cover my lampshade in a rough heat, but instead of just wrapping it around, I want to do some kind of waving. So I start with wrapping the single raffia pieces horizontally around the lampshade. I put tiny bit of hot glue in three different places, but I always do it in a straight line down. 
and I also try to keep the same distance between each row. The horizontal lines are done, now it's time to do the vertical ones. This time the process is more difficult as I have to wave each piece of the raffia. I start from the top and I go above and under, above and under the following row. Each piece I start opposite to what I've done with the previous one. Then again, using tiny drop of hot glue, I glue the raffia to the inside of the lampshade on the top and on the bottom. Cut the excess and continue the process all the way. Later, I discovered something that made this process quicker and easier. I have this plastic needle with big eye. Raffia goes through it perfectly. And with this needle, I started waving again. Base is now dry, looks really good. If you want, you can paint it. I've decided to leave it as it is. It's a nice and clean white color, which goes perfect with the raffia. In my opinion, this lamp is much better stained than it was before. It creates a really nice and boho piece. So that's it for today's video, let me know in the comment section which project was your favorite and let me know what would you do differently to those items. I hope this video will encourage you to think twice if there is any way to change the look of this item before throwing it away. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more projects. And now, thank you so much for watching your support and I will see you in my next video.